Couple of big updates. For one, tomorrow is his favorite dress up as your favorite character from a book day at preschool. Yes. And And Wee is out of water. And Wee Wee's out of water. Hey guy, Hey guys guys real quick, what are you dressing up as tomorrow for your characters? Fancy Nancy and Little Blue Truck. That's gonna be perfect. Me. Lyndall just changed her mind. She's now gonna be Fancy Nancy. Because okay. she was gonna be the ballerina from, what's that book called? I Want to Dance. I Want to Dance. One of the most adorable and that, it, is, it is a really, really adorable book. Uh, if, if you've never read Little Blue Truck, then you're really missing out. Those are great books. Okay, so that's enough about the kids. <laughs> our builders had an appointment today with our, like one of the guys on the architecture committee. Oh, I didn't know you were filming me. Yeah, and it sounded like that's going that went great. It does sound like it went great. I am worried though because we've missed two deadlines. We're on our third now. And, and they, they are, said and they've already warned about they've missing. They've already warned us that it's going to be close. What? I want more details. I want to know what they could possibly not get done this week. Right. Is it is it rude to be like, "Help me understand why you might miss this deadline too?" <laughs> Is it because of us and like the You would like some milk, please? Yeah. And the selections, they're, they're worried we won't be able to make this week because there's a, like a list of things we need to decide, which will take two seconds. It's probably not. I'm sure it's the elevation. I'm gonna lose my ever loving mind. <laughs> this isn't the part of the process that you usually have that you should have delays on. Well, we'll have delays from this weather the, and crews. Yeah, but and, this is the part of the process that's most important. But it's, it's, Eloise is playing with scissors. I know, she, yeah. she knows how to play with scissors. Of course it's important, and I don't want us to be making hasty decisions just for the sake of time. Right. Which we're not. Yeah. Anyway, I'm obviously kind of at the end of my rope with the delays at this point in the process. Like, we literally haven't even got started. Yeah. We thought we were going to break ground months ago. Mm -hmm. On a good note, however, I did uh, talk with our lender. And so, if you're new around here, there was a whole, there was drama. We bought, we purchased a, what's called a Bax Tax lot. And like had to go through the court system and do what's called a quiet title search th so that we could get insurance on the lot so that we could build on the lot. So we have two lots, one right next to each other. Um, and come to find out, we can't, we still can't get title insurance for two years after the judgment um, of us getting our land. However, we just found a different company that only requires you to wait one year before you can get title insurance and therefore get a construction loan. So that's good news. We're not gonna really have to worry about like building a little bit onto the second lot um, after that goes through. So that's good news there. Um, at least, you know, we'll have title insurance and we won't have to worry about it. So that's good. Okay, we're happily painting Bear's little blue truck thing. His little outfit. We need eyes and wheels also. So I think I'll make those out of poster board. Sound good? Okay. Mm -hmm, yeah. Or we can make roll tires so we can drive it. Ooh, that would be awesome. And I can drive it. And you can drive it. Can hey, Louise, it. stop flicking the paint, honey. <laughs> it took everything in me to turn that song off. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a darn shame we can't have just whatever song we want. I mean, it makes sense for the artist, but it would be nice oh. to have whatever song we want in the background. On YouTube, yeah. Actually, Almost always. Fly. Like, we always have to turn off yeah. our music to film, to film a clip. Like, we always have music going on oh, in, our normal, in our normal lives. Okay, we are making some tire, some wheels and tire. Ooh, so Lindell. This. Ooh. I couldn't you didn't. No, so these are you didn't the put anything down for them. Yeah, I had this down, honey. Oh. Lindell's doing a great job. 
job. Yes. She's doing a great job. She is. Let's put something down so it doesn't get on the table. Yikes. Yeah. What are you doing? You have it. No. Get back. Nailed it. We spared you the drive. <laughs> You're welcome, everyone. You got to just be here in Springfield with us. And we this is the closest place that we could get ballet clothes. Because all the kids are starting ballet tomorrow. So is it ballet or is it just dance? It's dance. Okay. It's like, I think it's called Eloise. Because we're getting tap shoes too, right? Yes, it's a combo class. So it is everything. And it's for two to four year olds. Are so they doing hip hop? Maybe, I don't know. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Bear, Lendl, and Eloise are all gonna be in the same class and it's gonna be adorable. And it's just 45 minutes once a week. So that's awesome. But we had we had nothing. They have a dress code and we had nothing that fit the dress code. And there's nothing anywhere near us that fit the dress code. So we came all the way down to Springfield. What do you got, Lendl? And we're gonna go in and we're gonna get them some dance paraphernalia. <laughs> I felt bad for Brad because you just did this drive twice this weekend. It's not that bad. From Camden to 10, it's about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, an hour like to the north side of Springfield though. We're all, all the way on the south side. At least you get to see a different side of Springfield. Oh yeah, because it's this so is, gorgeous. I know, it's so different down here on the south side. <laughs> Let's have it. What's the, uh, we'd call that a hall? Our hall, our dance hall. What's the, that's funny. What's the dance hall? <laughs> the dance hall. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's a good one. Thank you. <laughs> it was an experience. It was fun. When's the last time you actually like went to a shoe store and had a little old lady get up on a ladder and get you some shoes? Not you, but metaphorically. Since I was a child. Like I've, I've done that where I've had somebody fit me in shoes, but I was a child. Well, you went the fleet, what was that? Oh, that was different, yeah. I guess that's, that I like stood on a thing and they. Measured your foot pre yeah. precisely. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. that was really cool. But yeah, she, she was awesome. She was so sweet. <laughs> she, I was like, I didn't, first of all, I wasn't expecting us to try on multiple pairs of shoes to get the right one. But yeah. these come in like different widths. Mm, mm -hmm. So there's several different options. Like when you're in a, Lindell for example is in a 10 and a half. Wide, regular? In. Whatever. Narrow. Narrow, I guess, yeah. So, but some of them are like C, Elvis's tap shoe is a seven wide. <laughs> <laughs> Her tiny, tiny little ballet slippers are a six and a half B. So I don't know, that's probably not B. Not narrow, but yeah. not wide. Um, but she would try one on and then try like the same size in a different width. Mm -hmm. And then make sure, <clears throat> like she made sure each of them had about a thumb in the front to grow. Nice. The Eloise is in the tiniest little shoe that they make. Like literally the smallest size they yes. make. As she said, this is as small as they come. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know, and they loved it. They sat there, I I have footage, so I'm sure I've, we've already inserted that. They just did so well, like sitting there, had their little masks on and wore them the whole time without a problem. And <laughs> they would just put their foot up and let her put the shoe on it. <laughs> Bear, his tap shoes, she had to try 
I don't know, like five different ones at least to get the right size for him. And he ended up in a 12. But, like, it doesn't necessarily... She would ask me what size they're in in their street shoes. Mm -hmm. It's just so hard to say because they... Like, Bear has 10 to 12 somewhere right in there, which is 12s are too big. But, like, you go up, I think, a size and a half or so when you go to dance shoes. And then I've laid out their, their outfits over there. You want to look at those? So the girls will be in black leotards with pink tights. And Bear's just in a white shirt with some black athletic pants. Yeah, this is also as small as these come. And these are as small as these come. Really? <laughs> little wee <Wee-wee's> just <laughs> the tiniest little thing. <laughs> she's going to be really cute. Yeah, she's going to be really stinking cute in her little outfit. Yeah, I'm really excited to see that. Um, Wendell was really disappointed that they were just, that we're going with a plain black. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you call that? Leotard. Leotard. Yep. I almost called it a onesie. Well, not far from it. Um, she, because of course when you walk in, there's all of the pretty stuff on the wall. Right. Like, yeah. Oh. One of them had like a tutu. Yeah. Those were for like performances. Yeah. Of course. So, I was like, you'll see tomorrow. Every single person there is going to be dressed exactly the same. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it'll be really hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because. Obviously, we're Rachel's been like sending her mom pictures, and her mom was like, "Take video tomorrow." Right. As if you're not gonna take pictures and videos tomorrow. As if I wouldn't. I also got in the mail today my birthday present from your parents. Oh. So this is my first experience with actually. I might have no, I don't think so. Um, it's tart. I've never bought Tarte cosmetics, but I've seen them everywhere. Oh, yeah. They're probably one of the most well-known brands of, like, makeup. And when I get birthday money from Brad's parents, I always spend it on something that, like, I don't normally splurge on for myself. And this time I'm trying, like, I got a, a naked eyeshadow palette one year for my birthday money from your parents. And I still have that. Yeah. I haven't even used it all. Don't even use it. I don't use it at all anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I have it if I need it. Uh-huh. So you can go on, like on Tarte, you can go on and take a quiz about like what color, what color your skin tone is. Yeah. And I had no idea. Well, that's kind of like what yours, your... Yeah. But that's more like, um, like if your skin's dry or oily or whatever, which is part of this too, but your tone... It was like when you look at your veins, do they look blue or do they look green? And that tells them whether your skin tone is more pink or more yellow. Hmm. Interesting. I know. What color are yours? I don't know. Same as yours. Blue? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that means we're... I can't remember what that means. I just put in there that they look blue and I guess it can be like a mix. So then they... Whatever undertones of the makeup... There are, depends on like what your skin tone is, which I've literally never given that a second thought, matching my, the tones. There were tones. <laughs> so if I'm looking like really dashing tomorrow. It's definitely not pregnancy. It's this. It's tart. Cause I got the Shape Tape Glow Powder. It's not Tarte. I think it's tart. <laughs> tart. <laughs> yeah. I got some tart makeup. That's kind of a harsh name for <laughs> Luxury brand. Um, but the glow powder, I'm not really glowing. <laughs> it's the powder. Uh-huh. 